Welcome, I'm Adam from the Zero API team and today I'm going to show you how to set up a custom connection. So custom connections are a way of uh, building custom integrations with Xero. Um, they are a premium integration, so they require additional subscription. Uh, but for the demo today, I'm just going to use the demo company, uh, which you don't need a subscription for. So we're going to start at developer.zero.com. I'm going to log in first of all, and I'm going to create my app. I'm just going to call it custom integration, and I'm going to choose the custom connection option. I need to enter my marketing URL and accept the terms and conditions. Uh, next up uh, is the first difference uh, to a normal auth code or pixie app is that we need to select our scopes up front that we're going to use. So let's choose accounting transactions and accounting settings, a couple of popular ones. And then you need to decide who's going to be the user that authorizes this connection. So if you're building for a client, um, it will be someone else who has access to the org. Um, but for today in the demo company, I'm just going to connect it myself. So I hit that button and the app or well, the custom connection goes into this pending state waiting for authorization. Um, and uh, it needs to be authorized by myself. So what we need to do then is head over to our email inbox. And if I refresh that, hopefully I've got an email. And this is asking me to approve uh, the custom integration. So um, if you haven't already, you need to buy a subscription, but uh, in this case, we're going to use the demo company. So I'm going to go ahead and connect that. And what you're going to see next is the auth consent screen, which is the same as any other app that connects to the Zero API. And you need to pick the org you want to connect to. So today I'm going to choose my demo company, view the scopes there and say allow access. And that'll take me straight through to my Connect Apps page in my, my demo company. Uh, I can see my custom integration is now connected. What that'll do is also notify me as the developer that um, this custom connection has now been activated. And if I refresh this screen, I'll see that it's now been connected to Demo Company NZ. And if I go to my App Details screen, I can get my client ID and generate a secret. Uh, now that we're all set up, um, it's super easy to start making API calls. So I'm going to use our Postman public workspace, um, which I'll link to in the, the notes for this video. Um, and what we need to do first of all is set up our environment. So, and set up our environment variables, which are currently empty. So I'll head back to this page, get my client ID. Save that in here. And my client secret. Pop that in as well. And the other variable you need to make sure you have right is your scopes variable because you pass this in when you're requesting uh, an access token. So these scopes uh, that you set here need to match the scopes um, that you selected when you created the custom connection on developer.zero.com. So accounting settings and accounting transactions, I think is what I chose. So now we should be good to go. Um, and if you check our custom connections collection here, first you need to make the post access token request. Um, it just has basic auth with the client ID and secret um, in the authorization header. And in the body, you need to have uh, form URL encoded and grant type client credentials and scope um, populates with that string of scopes from our variables. So fire that request away and a successful response comes back with the access token. Um, this particular request also automatically saves the access token to our variables. So we can see that now up here. And that is all we need to start making API calls. So if I want to get my invoices out of my demo company, um, it's just bear a token off using my access token, fire that request away, and I'll get a list of invoices from my demo company. And that's it. So pretty straightforward. Uh, most of it's in the, the setup, in the dev portal, and in the emails. Once you've done that, um, it's really easy to, to get up and running and start making API calls. 
Uh, the access tokens last for 30 minutes, but once they expire, all you need to do is make that same request again uh, and you'll get a new access token. So no user interaction required. Uh, if you have any questions, check out our docs or yeah, contact us at api.zero.com. Thanks very much.